Hello, I'm Barbara and I'm going to take you on a deep dive into the Web Archive Switzerland. Follow me. And here it is. This is Web Archive Switzerland. Today the collection numbers more than 15,000 domains. And every image you see here represents one or more copies, we also call them snapshots, of these domains. Let's take a closer look. You can browse within the collection by touching the screen. It's almost like standing in front of a bookshelf and getting inspired by color, shape and text. The snapshots are visible, they are tangible, you are guided by the serendipity principle. If something arouses your curiosity, you zoom in. And when you are close enough, the title and the URL of the website appear, as well as this red button on which you can click to open up the snapshot. Once it is open, you can browse within the snapshot. You can click and read through it. On the bottom left, you see earlier and later copies of this website. In general, the websites are crawled annually. If you're interested in an earlier version, you just click on it. Or a later one, you do the same. Not everything is left to serendipity. Are you searching for something specific? This is how to find it. Enter your keyword in the search slot. I'm searching for watch industry and start the search. The first hit is displayed directly. Here we see the website of the watchmaking town La Chautefonds. You can browse within the hits with the arrow. The second hit we see the homepage of the Swiss watch industry. Or you can expand the horizon and look where all the other hits are hiding in the collection. Every highlighted snapshot is a hit, ending up with this beautiful starry sky. I hope you have enjoyed this short tour through the Web Archive Switzerland and can't wait to discover it all by yourself. Searching and browsing can be done from anywhere. All you need is the URL. For displaying and reading the archive copies on the pad, you have to come to Bern to the Swiss National Library. However, we can very well imagine to have such pads in many more locations in Switzerland, in other libraries, archives, museums, so if you're interested, please contact me. Bye bye and see you.